what we're looking at here, this landscape that we have here, these rocks are about 73 million years old, like I was saying. We're hoping to actually get more precise dates later this year. But this didn't used to be the kind of terrain that we had here. This used to be sea level. Nowadays, we're about six or 7,000 feet above sea level here. The same forces that brought up the Rocky Mountains have also pushed up this landscape here. And so there's a tremendous amount of, of uplift and also erosion too. So these hills that are here that we're standing on, these used to be flat. You know, all of this sediment being dumped onto them, burying all of these critters here. You know, they were fossilized and then over tens of millions of years, this part of North America was pushed up toward the sky, this massive uplift event. As that uplift is happening, the rocks are eroding. As, for instance, mountains come up, there's wind and rain and snow and freeze thaw and these other forces that, that kind of break them down. These erosional forces will cause sediment to break off and then it goes down in mountain streams and then it gets deposited in valleys. That's the same kind of forces that have exposed these rocks here. So these used to be buried under hundreds of feet of sediment and we're really lucky that right here, right now, we've got a dinosaur not while it's got hundreds of feet of rock on top of it. 